Hi everyone, um, this is a tutorial on how to get this Milwaukee fastback knife, um, this variable chamfer that runs along the edge. Um, there's going to be some hand building and some surfacing uh, is going to be happening um, to get that feature because it's variable. Okay, so the first thing I did, just super quick, um, is I did a sketch to get the overall dimensions and we're working in millimeters because it's easier. Um, I imported an image that's not great quality but just to get the scale correct um, and then I brought in a better image, um, a high quality image that I can see this detail here and then I extruded um, this um, feature and so I used splines. Um, I didn't have any fillets just to get this all mapped out. Um, and then added fillets in and now we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we'll mirror everything over because it's the same on both sides for this feature. Um, and because this is um, uh, set in here, what we can do is we're going to create a plane over our on this side so we're just going to select that and then we know I'm uh, for my students I don't have this in front of me because I'm doing it at home and you guys have all the knives um, but uh, so you make sure you're measuring um, and using the correct measurement but I think it's let's say it's one millimeter that's probably too much um, we'll say it's 0.75 please use your calipers and measure and use that so now we've got this. Okay, we're gonna do intersection, split line using that plane that we created. So in features, curves, or you can just look it up here, split line, intersection, split all, on here. Uh, we're gonna select this, and then we're gonna select, let's see if we can select the body. Yes, we can. So I just opened up the tree and under solid bodies, clicked fill it. Otherwise I'd have to select every surface and that just does it all at once. Great, so now we have an edge to work with, which is fantastic. Next thing we're gonna do is on this surface, right click, create a sketch. We're gonna hide our body. You can just offset from that edge in. Um, from this edge, off. Um, so let's try it. Let's see. You guys will have your calipers. I'm eyeballing reverse one. Let's say it's one for that. But it's, it's varying. So I know it shifts over here. So let's say that for now. Let's take a look. I was trying to change the transparency before and it was getting everything really screwy. I will leave that at one and then this um, is more okay and then show I'm gonna try this again change transparency It'll work okay it's let me do it it was it was getting goofy on me Okay, so then I'm going to look, make sure I'm looking at it from straight ahead. And then offset, reverse, and then this put five. Sure, and it's a little off from this, so. And then let's do this edge and this edge. That looks right. Normally I would have my calipers. Let's say that's right. Okay. And then this offset. I'll this be the one reverse. Let's say yes for that. And then let's do this one too. Five. Okay, so now we've got that's not right. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna delete yes. 
uh, really roll this back here. I don't think that's right. So what we're going to do is make this one. I can't see it very well. That's good enough. Okay. We'll leave it like that. So rolling it back will help. And then we're going to roll this back here. And then we're going to do a spline here to here. Hit escape. Select the line. Select the holding shift. Select the line. Tangent. Line, line. Tangent. So it's nice and smooth. Tangent makes it so that there won't be any creases. Actually, looks pretty good. We're going to leave that. And then I'm looking over here. I'll add in a fillet there in a minute. And then spline. We're going to do peaks and valleys. This looks off. Do there and there. Escape. See what this looks like. Okay, that looks, that's pretty good. Let's leave that. And then we're going to do here to here. We're going to help it out so it doesn't screw this all up a little bit. And we're going to do this to this. Always tangent or you get like weird creases. It'll be not okay if you don't have a tangent. Let's see what happens here. Tangent, no. See how it moved this line? So I did the endpoint and the line, and I helped it out a little bit. Okay, I actually think that looks pretty good. Um, all right, so the setup for this matters a lot. So you want to really baby all of this. My line here was a little bit off. Okay, so that's the problem with that. And then put in a fillet here. Not that big. One, maybe. Okay. So make sure everything looks great. I think that looks good. So now we are going to make this full again. And now what we will do is surface. We're going to split line this because it's not a, we can't do a trim or we don't want to. Here we go. So you can do this in a lot of different ways because um, SolidWorks is fun like that. So this could all be made as a, in features, as a swept cut going around, uh, a lofted cut going around, or you can use boundary surfaces and then trim. I'm going to do um, boundary surfaces and trim with those. Um, so you have an option of creating the surfaces surface and then cutting with the surface and leaving this all solid, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is to delete these edges and then build it in and then re-knit and create a salt, like work in surfaces and then bring it back to solid surface, delete face, and then you're going to delete all these, save before you do this. All right, delete. And you're not going to have to delete fill. It's just delete. Let's hide this plane. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see this either. That's why it's nice to label things. Don't need to see that. Get this cleaned up. Okay, great. That looks nice. So we're going to start with, so if you see here, because it was one spline going all the way across, I can just select it. And then each of these fillets are their own little spline. So it's going to make things really easy. So boundary surface, we're going to select this and then this all in the same direction. And just that, because we have these fillets and it will may not feel like it's going to go 
better, but it will. This edge and this edge, we're going to ignore the fillets. There we go. This edge and this edge. This edge. This edge. So I'm ignoring all the fillets. And then this edge. I'm kind of selecting the same area for both. This look good. And then let's see how this goes. It's not that complicated, so I think it can handle it. Yeah, that looks good. Great. <laughs> so we're getting everything except for the fillets. And so when you select, you want to select kind of in the same area of that because it'll skew it. This and this edge. Okay, this edge and this edge. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got all these. All we have to do now are these filleted areas. So what we're going to do is boundary surface, direction one, direction one, and then direction two are these round. You could do either or, it doesn't matter, but that's nice. And then for these, because this flows, these are going to be tangent to face. Just to make sure that it's nice and smooth, no creases. Screen keeps doing that. And then we can look at it, we can take off our edges and take a look. That is looking good. Very nice. Okay. So finish those out. Tangent. Good. Boundary surface. These. Oops. Just the edge. Tangent. Oh, did I do it the other way? Whoops. Okay, whatever. Tangent. Tangent. I wasn't paying attention while I was doing it. Boundary surface. Probably do a fill too. We'll try that on the next one. Okay, let's try fill. So filled surface also could work. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. Very nice. So let's change this. Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's not goofy at all. Yeah, great. Either way, whatever floats your boat. Um Boundary surface, you have a little bit more control sometimes. So I'm going to keep doing that. That's what I usually use. But you can see... Get that out of the way. No, no. Okay. Tangent. Tangent. There we go. Almost done. Two more. Boundary. Tangent. Tangent. I'll keep saying it. Boundary. And then tangent. Tangent. Perfect. Oh, look at that. So nice. So now what we're going to do is if you look up here, there's a whole bunch of surfaces and no solids. So we are going to knit um, these together right here, knit under surfaces. So we can just select um, all of these holding shift. There we go. And there it is. Create solid. 
and now it's a solid body, just like that. So there you go, totally controlled, very nice. And then you can just feature, um, just do a mirror because we built it on the front plane, super easy. should never say super easy. Okay, so when we build this, I'm going to adjust this right now. Just do the one side and then mirror it all over. If you, um, if, uh, okay, option two, if you're a student and you already did this, what I would do then is <laughs> this is the cheat if you need to do it and you already have other things happening here that you already did. Um, then what you can do is edit feature and not have this in the mix, just these. Oh yeah, not a solid. Okay, so now these are knit together. Bum 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 bum. Hang on. Crap. Edit feature. Not this. Okay, so you're gonna edit, you're gonna just knit these and then you can mirror these this body over and then <laughs> this is if you've already got a bunch of features on here and you don't want to have to screw around with things um you can trim surface trim tool it's going to be this mirror and then you're going to keep this and this and now you can knit it all together. This video is made for students who have already been working on this and then create solid. There you go. Okay, hope that helps for everybody involved.